friends, today we're going to add some water and we're going to mix it with cornstarch. I want to know before we do the activity, let's get our thinking caps on. Put them on your head. Let's think, hmm, what will happen if we put water and cornstarch together? It will melt. These are all great observations. Madison, great job pouring. All right. Ava, here's some cornstarch for you. All right, you can start putting some water in. And let's see what's going to happen. In my experiences, children seem to learn best through play. I like to make it interactive with the children and very hands-on. Um, this activity was a silly science activity, making some slimy oopa. This morning, the children were able to experience the fun of eyedroppers. Children had to squeeze and squirt, which also goes along with the S theme that we're working on this week. And we also were able to put the water and transform it from a cup to a bowl. After we practiced that a few times, we decided to get messy and have a fun project. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna make some blue, and then we're gonna mix them together and we'll see what happens. One, two, three. Okay, use our eyes for this. Oh my goodness, what color is it making? So when we put blue and yellow together, what does it make? Green. Green. So this ties into our Science Rocks curriculum, as well as ties into our Math Counts curriculum. We're using our science skills by predicting what's going to happen, then pursuing the activity, and then doing a conclusion. We use math concepts to work on the actual fine motor skills. Um, a lot of people don't realize that fine motor skills is part of math. So we're using our fine motor skills to squeeze the eyedroppers and release. We're also watching how the water transfers over to a bowl. Um, the different weights, the different volumes is part of the activity. Thank you.